storms, and I am definitely affected by the pipeline because it goes right through my property. Uh, I was interested in hearing the three foot depth that it was going to be there. When I first went to the two meetings they had at Bell High School, I asked them about that. I said, because I've got a shooting berm on the back of my property, right dead in line with where you're going through. How does that affect it? Oh, it won't because that pipeline's going to be eight foot deep. Well, some reason or another, your people, the right hand, don't know what the left hand's doing. Now we're going eight feet, three feet. So three feet, yeah. So what, what does that do? Mm -hmm. And then they said that the route Pipe was going to take it right down through the walk of Sassa Flats. If I don't miss my guess, Mr. Thomas, both of you, you know where walk of Flats is. That's where the hunt club is, is it not? Mm -hmm. The pipeline is not going anywhere near that. Mm -hmm. So they need to get their map and get it straight so they can show us exactly where this cotton picking pipeline is going. You know? Well, I don't think they've got it. They're on the red route, Yes, sir. You get exactly the route to get And I think that the green route goes right through your farm. I believe it's probably green, yellow, and red. A mile and a half. <laughs> A mile and a half, maybe from the I, I get it red line. Two to the top. Yeah. I'm a radio paint color. Yes, sir. Yes, but that, that's my concern. Yeah. They, like, you, like everybody said, the maps that they send us, and I can show you the letter I got if you want to see it, that you can't determine anything about it. Yeah, you can tell the green line, the yellow line, and the opposed route. and best thing I can see is the proposed route where they were going through Hitchcutney Springs and down through the south end of Columbia County and then through uh, Royster's place over there, Spring Ridge, there must have been more money than what's in our area. <laughs> so they took the, you know, Spring. The, yeah. Spring. But there's more money over there helping them so they got out of it. Just like they were going through Royster Drop Pit. Now they're not. So any consideration will be greatly appreciated. Well, that's why we're that, that's why we're holding this meeting, Mr. Taylor, is trying to right. as quickly as possible. Well, yeah, and that, that's what I told them uh, when I come out. The, the people up there in town were pacifiers. Don't worry about it. And then educate those people that are affected. 